Okay, today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install the Ericsson 3G modem into your ThinkPad X230. I've already gone ahead and taken out the seven screws that you need to remove the palm rest and the keyboard. I'll put the guide in the YouTube um, description so you can go ahead and see the, di the diagrams for yourself. But the screws are located here and here, 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 and here. So it's seven screws in total that you have to remove in order to remove the keyboard, which are these two, and the palm rest, which are the last five here. And they're all clearly marked as far as what screw does what. So after we've gone and removed that, simply open the keyboard open the uh, laptop to get to the keyboard you just push down lightly on the keyboard and push back at the same time the keyboard just lifts free and there's a small ribbon cable underneath here that you have to pull up and it just clicks free see just like that it goes right there so we'll put the keyboard to the side <coughs> then you just go ahead and Slowly remove the palm rest, and it just clicks free. And there's a ribbon cable here that's that is also attached to for the touchpad and for the fingerprint scanner, but it's rather hard to hard to remove quickly. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, when you open up the laptop, you'll see that you have your Wi-Fi card is right here, and you have an open spot right here for the 3G modem. Now I've already gone ahead and tested this to make sure that everything worked. Um, so you'll, when you get it, you'll see that your blue and red antenna wires for the 3G modem are wrapped in a little piece of black pla black tape, and then there will also be a little silver screw that's mounted right here. And that's this screw right here. Um, <clears throat> when you when you receive your Ericsson modem, it'll be separated from this little metal piece, and all you do is you just simply slide that on the metal contact points here it can only go on one way and you see it says top written right here on, on the frame and you simply just take this take the modem undo the one black Wi-Fi antenna wire move all these little cables out of the way and if you see when you when you look at your laptop you'll see just underneath this plastic covering here on the on the motherboard you'll see there's a little port here and it's keyed so it can only go in one way just slide that in there and when it's slid in there it'll just sit sit up on top like as if you're installing a ramp you know it just sits you can push up and down like a little flap so you just push that down you take the silver screw that I already removed earlier and you want to go ahead and just mount it back where it came from but this time you'll have the frame or the uh, little carrier piece for the 3G modem. Secure that down, mount your black Wi-Fi modem, modem antenna back where it's supposed to be. Now you see when, when you get your uh, modem there should be a little diagram piece, a little piece of paper that shows you where the wires go, but it's easy to remember. The red goes here on the top and the blue goes here on the bottom, on the lower one. And the antennas are really easy to put on. You just there's just little circles, look like little kind of little mini miniature coax plugs or ports. And the blue one a little bit more difficult because the angle is a bit strange. But there you go. Yeah, the blue one you had to tuck, tuck out of the way. So I, j I just all slid mine underneath the little plastic thing right here. And take your black tape that you got with the modem that was attached to the uh, wire to the antenna cables. Take that and just tape them down. Tape the cables down here so that way they don't, they can't go anywhere. Right. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click our palm wrist back into place. Put it where it belongs. Go around all the different edges. Click it back down. So that looks to be secured. There we go. Take our keyboard, and the ribbon cable has to go on first. And the ribbon cable just clicks right in, in this little port right here. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit of pressure, and you'll hear that audible click when it's done. And mine's being a little difficult at the moment. 
It's hard to see and also film all this at the same time. So there we go, got mine. So not sure if you heard, if you heard the click at all. So you just put it in just like so. Lower the keyboard down. We're just doing the exact reverse. Press down, and this time we're gonna pull it towards us. So, and that is all you have to do. Then you can just go ahead and close the lid, put the laptop over, put your five screws back in. Then when you turn the laptop on, you know these um, uh, system tools, what the program itself is called, the system update, it'll automatically download the drivers for you, and that's it, you're connected. You can go ahead and set up, set up the little, your pin code, put in your APN information, um, if you have the ThinkVantage tool center, you can always download that and use that access connection utility that you can, you can also install, and configure it that way as well. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I think if you can, if you've been able to do all this, you can sort of figure out the software side of it without any issues.